Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. And in this short video, let's talk about the carnivore diet on a budget. The carnivore diet is becoming very, very popular because of people like Jordan Peterson and Joe Rogan having significant health improvements by eating a diet of just meat. And whether you're just, you're, you've decided to go carnivore or to just add more meat to your diet, and your budget is an issue, you don't have bottomless pockets, then this video is gonna help a lot. As carnivore becomes more popular, more and more marketers jump into this market and they'll start to tell you things like, only if you're eating grass-fed, grass-finished, panda-massaged meat from the Himalayan mountains can you be healthy eating meat. And nothing can be further from the truth. Quite often these marketers have a vested interest in you believing that panda massage meat is somehow magically better. It just isn't. So if you know someone who's either thinking about going carnivore or just adding more nutritious meat to their diet, but their budget is an issue, please share this video with them on your social media in an email, in a WhatsApp message. Help people understand that you can actually eat nutritious, healthy meat cheaply if you look around. That's what this video is about. Now let's get into this. Let's talk about the cheap options. Uh, the first on my list is bacon. And you may think, well, wait a minute, bacon's pretty expensive. But you gotta remember when you buy bacon, you're actually buying two products for the price of one. You get to cook and enjoy the nutritious bacon, which is full of all the amino acids and the fatty acids that are essential for optimal human health, but you also get a second product, bacon grease, which you're gonna buy a special little container made of stainless steel to keep on your stovetop to store your bacon grease in. You don't have to refrigerate it. It has no sugar in it, therefore bacteria aren't really interested in it. It can sit in that little container and anytime you need some bacon grease to cook the rest of the things I'm gonna talk about on this list, you've already got some saved up. The next thing is ground beef. Uh, and then some countries you'll call this beef mints. This is basically just ground up fatty beef. And uh, if you watch the sales at local groceries, you can sometimes get a very huge price discount on ground beef or beef mince. You just gotta look for it. That's what your freezer's for. You can buy five or 10 pounds at a time if you can afford it, put it in the freezer and you can individually wrap a pound at a time in, in plastic wrap. The plastic won't hurt you because it's gonna be at a freezing temperature. So it's not gonna leach any of the bad products out of the plastic that I talk about in other videos. Eggs, number three, eggs. I love eggs and you can use your delicious bacon grease to cook your eggs in or you can use butter. Uh, but eggs are a superfood, okay? Eggs have every essential amino acid and every essential fatty acid, plus many of the fat-soluble vitamins that it's so difficult to get other places, and many other vitamins and minerals that you just can't find all in one place like you can in eggs, especially the yolk. The next is a food that many of you may not currently think that you like, but I promise you if you try them and you play around with them with different recipes and spices, you're gonna wind up loving them, and that is sardines. Sardines are another multivitamin superfood. If you get the sardines, they're all wild caught because they're too small to farm. You can't really make a profit farming sardines because they're so tiny. If you get the ones that have the bones in, you're actually not only getting all the essential fatty acids and amino acids, but you're also getting all of the building blocks for collagen and cartilage and all the other things that your joints are hungry for. Multivitamin superfood, sardines. Next is one that's a little bit contentious in the carnivore community, but I made this video especially for people who are on a budget who don't have $22 to pay for one pound of ribeye. If you can't afford that kind of stuff, then you can absolutely do keto or carnivore with hot dogs and bologna and Vienna sausages, which here in the South we call Viennese, okay? At least my grand grandfather called them that. Uh, I'm talking about spam, I'm talking about potted meat. And yes, I'm not in love with the ingredients in these, they always want to add a little sugar or a little dextrose or something like that. But the macro count on these, here's a little can of potted meat that's super cheap. All of the processed meat that comes in cans like this and sardines 
have a shelf life of two or three years. And so you can always have a stock of good protein and good fat in your pantry that's gonna last for a long time should times get harder and you just don't have the money to buy food, you can store some away now. But even the worst of these little processed meat in, in a tin or in a can have a pretty darn good macronutrient ratio. Uh, this one, for example, has 12 grams of fat, seven grams of protein, and only one gram of carbohydrate per serving. That's not terrible, right? And so if you can afford to do better, then definitely buy a carnivore product that doesn't have any of these little added ingredients that you don't want. Uh, but if you if all you can afford is potted meat and spam and hot dogs and bologna and viini sausages, you can absolutely do keto, keto or carnivore with these products. I save the best for last because it is absolutely a superfood multivitamin, and that's liver. <clears throat> Whether we're talking about beef liver, or cod liver or chicken liver, lamb liver, pork liver, doesn't matter. If you're poor enough, then we're talking about squirrel liver and groundhog liver. Liver is a multivitamin superfood. It has all the fatty acids and all the amino acids of all these others, but it has vitamins and minerals in it that you just almost can't get anywhere else all in one little tasty package. There's multiple recipes. If you don't like just cooking liver in your baking grease that you've saved up, you can actually make liver pate, liver mousse. You can make all kinds of different things. I'll post a recipe uh, of how to make a, a delicious liver mousse and you can make it with beef liver, chicken liver, or cod liver. And it's absolutely divine. If you went to a fancy schmancy French restaurant, you might pay 22 bucks for an ounce of this liver pate, but you can actually make it at home for about 22 cents. Uh, for, for 10 ounces. So do not be afraid of these foods. If there's one on this list you've never tried before, I want you to tell me which one in the comments you love or which one you absolutely hate and just cannot stand the thoughts of even eating. But a lot of people ask me about, well, what about variety? What about boredom? On a carnivore diet, aren't you, don't you get bored eating beef, bacon, butter, eggs, bacon grease? You, no, I don't. I think a big part of the reason that humans have this craving for so much variety in their diet is that so many things we eat are void of nutrition. They're just empty calories. And so we're searching around in vain, trying to find something that has some vitamin, some real vitamin A or some, some real vitamin E or whatever. And, or this one essential amino acid that you just can't get from plants or this one essential fatty acid that you just can't get from plants. And I think once you start eating a nutrient dense food that basically consists of multiple uh, multivitamins like liver and sardines, you just, you don't have that craving for variety anymore because you're getting all the nutrition that your body needs. Not only your body, but your mind as well. Don't forget, you have to feed your mind. Now, if you like a blend of, of nutrition, medicine, common sense, paleoanthropology, and meaningful research, all mushed together and made into videos, then that's this channel. Please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell right beside that subscribe button so that every time I have a bright idea, you'll be one of the very first to know. And if my videos have helped improve your health in some small way, please consider clicking on my Patreon link. It's right down below in the show notes. It's a quick sign up and you can throw a buck or two my way so that I have more time and more resources to make videos just like this. All right, this is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.